How's it going, guys? Bringing you another admin setting video. Um, so this one's gonna be talking about safe zones and how to set them up, configurations. A uh, pretty short video. So let's just get started. Um, so you're gonna go to the escape when you're in game. Go to admin settings, and then here you're going to go to configurations and hit the plus button. So this is all your settings. Um, what's going to be in the safe zones or whatever you're doing with it. Um, so let's go ahead and name it up here. I'm going to name it YouTube video. So here you can change the color. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This is just what people's going to see on the map. Like you can see mine are green. So let's go ahead and do red. So here you can ignore, allow, and block stuff. Uh, blocking is to completely eliminate it so there would be no fall damage no matter how far up you fall. No matter what happens, you'll never get hurt. Allow would obviously mean um, fall damage is allowed. You will get hurt. Ignore leaves it to default settings, uh, whatever it's like everywhere else. Puppet damage, same thing. All these apply. And if you come down to here, you can make it where you can't damage people's bases, damage their vehicles. Uh, you can't pick world locks or player locks. You can all ignore this or block it if you don't want people raiding in these zones. And then whenever you get all this set up, um, you're just going to hit apply. And then you're going to come over here. You're going to go to add circle region or add rectangle region, depending on what you want to do. A uh, circle makes a circle on the map like this one here. And then the rectangle adds one like up here. So I want to add a circle region. Click it and it should highlight blue. And I want to make one up at the C3 bridge. So you want to click right where you want the center of this point to be. You're going to click and hold, and you're going to drag to however big you want to make it. I want it big enough just to cover that bridge, maybe just a little more. So you're going to release the click, and this will all show up. And you can name this as well. So I'm going to name it C3 Bridge. And it will show all of your configurations you had done before. And you can change the radius. You want to make it bigger here. Um, you can change the center a little bit. But you're, the easiest thing to do is click and drag and then do the radius here. The, this is a little bit more complicated. Um, requires you to go get some coordinates and stuff like that. But that pretty much sums up the video. It's a pretty easy one, pretty short video. And I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Or any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And make sure you click apply. Thank you.